hopefully this one's going to work. What I'm going to do is just take some of the spackle paste that I've bought. Make sure I've got the right one. Uh, the, sorry, the right um, end of the bag. And in the corner, I'm just going to add some of the spackle paste because I'm going to do a project. And I'm not going to put much in because I can always add more. So I'll just pop the lid back on there. So what you need is a plastic bag and cut a hole right in the corner like that. Now I'm hoping that mine's going to work. And you just twist. If you've got a syringe like a, or a food one for icing, you can use that. But for now, I'm just going to do mine like that. First of all, I'm going to prepare the board, and that is to use the um, clear gesso. And that's basically because it's quite grainy, and I, I want everything to stick to it. So it'll have something to grip. And we're just going to build up a picture. The only thing I've got in mind... It's a tree. That's all. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but that's all I've got in mind. Just like a mixed media. Um, I've had some comments from uh, people in college saying that um, they had a project to do, they didn't know what to do, they looked on YouTube, they came across a couple of my things that I've done, te textured backgrounds and things like that, and uh, it saved their project and they got the mark so I'm absolutely thrilled to death with that that whatever it was they were after they managed to find the inspiration with what I've done and they gained whatever it was they needed so that's absolutely thrilling to know that now I'm just going to dry this off and drink my coffee at the same time I'm not sure if this was going to work. I normally have uh, uh, like a plastic thicker type bag when I do something like this. So I am not sure whether this will work. So that's more or less what I want to do. Very quick and very easy. Hopefully this is going to work. <laughs> I'm not sure if it will. But we shall see. I don't want too much of it coming out. Because um, basically what I'm going to do. I'm not sure if you can see this. I hope you can. I'm just going to squirt it out. And I'm just making... little bits here and there. You'll see what I'm going to do as uh, I build it up. And then I'll turn it round so you can actually see what I'm doing. And it's very hard for me to do it upside down so you'll have to bear with me. I'm just doing little bits here and there. Hopefully it will grip. Like that. That's a little bit. That's better. Use the edge of it to flatten it down. And, and then what I'm going to do is... bits like that join it back up if it comes off oops You do need to press this down slightly onto the canvas or whatever it is you're working on. 
Let me just spin mine a little bit more to get some more out. Don't worry about it, you can move it in with your fingers and, and do that with it. Okay, I'm just getting the basics of what I want. Flatten that down. It'll be fine, don't worry about it at all. Add a little bit more into there if you want. Okay, and then just flatten all that down. Best thing about this is you can play with it. Let me just put a little bit more on here. And then just flatten that down like that okay and I think I'll continue to try and use it what I've got in here a little bit like that It will adhere to the board. And it is great because you can play with it. Like that. see what I'm doing. I'm going to have to turn it around a little bit, sorry. Extend this one out a little bit. Just keep twisting it round. Like I say, you can just push it in where you need it, extend it where you need it. Uh, and that's all I'm going to do for that. I can always scrape that out of my uh, bag, which I shall do later on. Um, just thin this little bit out here. And now what I'm going to do is to let 
that dry and that won't take long at all move it about where you want it okay I might actually put a few more bits and pieces down here Extend all of that out. You just play around with what you've got. That's basically all you're doing. Like that. There, I like that. Quite happy with that. Now all I have to do is to let that dry. So right now I must squeeze this back into my tub. Oh, what I will do, what I will do, yeah, what I will do, if I can do this right, it is quite difficult. You'll see that when it's done. I just have to uh, like that, and then just. Chuck that bit away. That really must dry now. So I'm just going to empty the rest of this into my tub and make sure that's pressed down into the rest so that it stays and not dries out. So that's that. Now, just get rid of that. And I'll be back shortly. Right, what I've done now is I've just started, well not just, I've been doing it for a couple of minutes. I've been waiting for another video to load up, which is another mixed media one. And um, it was having a few problems, I think. I'm not keen on this new load up of uh, YouTube at all. Probably because I'm not used to it, that's why. And I'm not a computer savvy person, so more hands on. <laughs> But anyway, um, I'm just, I haven't waited for it to dry. You do not need to follow the rule. If you want to paint over, it's already started to dry. I'm not damaging it at all. It will all dry together at some point. So while this is still pretty, um, 
soft down there painting over it and as you can see it's done it quite well Use the silver pearlex that I've got, I think I had. Oops, a bit purple is that. Oh, here we are. Just to give it a dash of colour in the picture itself. Now, I could have glossed all this over, but I, I chose not to do that. And so I'm just going to, when I can find where I put my brush. Where have I put my brush? Oh, don't tell me I put it in the water. Ooh. No, I don't think I did. But never mind. We'll, we'll, oh, there's one. Got one. Nah, but I did do that one. Oh. Just ignore me, because I do talk to myself an awful lot. <laughs> I'm just going to lightly brush over, just to give the sky a little bit of colour. Just to make it look cloud, um, you know, like cloud maybe or something like that through the night. break up the black and if you've not already switched off and you're still watching thank you very much Um, and there you go that is all I'm doing very quick projects just I mean it's, if it's just practicing your technique of um, using different products um, I don't think it's too bad gives you a lot of practice and uh, you teach yourself <laughs>